Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. Um, this one is just to show you my extremely small haul. Um, the other day I was online and I, I have a Blitzy account. I've never really ordered anything from there, but I have the account and they send me emails all the time. So I saw that they had the Zutter Distress It All on sale and it was a really good price and I have been wanting one forever. Um, the way that I've been distressing is always with a little Tim Holtz thing here. And every time that I do it, it takes forever. And then there's a huge mess of paper. And usually that mess is on my shirt or my pants. And it's just out of control messy. So I figured that it would be better if I got the actual distress at all. So when Blitzy had it on sale, I was going to order it from them. But then I said, let me go ahead and check Scrappy Land, um, which is a store that you know, we have, I have near me. Um, it's not super near, but it's near enough. So I went up there and I checked and it was basically the same price, but they didn't have to include shipping. Um, so I was able to get it there and I was able to get it right away. So I finally got my distress at all. Yay. So, um, really excited to use it. Haven't used it yet, but I'm really, really want to use it. Um, then while I was there, I went ahead and I was looking at the stuff and he had, um, the dream cuts and this is the dream cuts machine. That's also by Zutter and it's the one where you can put a 12 by 12 paper here and it has two blades here. So it'll cut into three equal size pieces and it'll cut, um, here it'll cut it just one time so it'll cut it six by six but what I really liked about it is that it will cut any size paper in half so I really really wanted that because um, a friend of mine at work had said how she really wanted to get um, some blank cards so that way um, whenever anything happens like a thank you card or you know somebody's birthday that she just found out about it or somebody's pregnant or something like that she would be able to go into her her desk and get out a blank card to give it to them. So I went online and I saw on Etsy, um, there's somebody who sells cards like this um, and they're embossed. The only thing is that those cards, it's embossed, the whole top is embossed. And I really didn't like the way that that came out. So I um, went ahead and I just cut out a smaller piece of paper and I embossed the piece of paper and then I just stuck it down, glued it onto the front, the card front. So I think it comes out a little bit better this way. So I am making these just to have like a set so that way I can start selling them on my blog. Um, so I made them and since I'm showing them, I might as well just go ahead and show them all. This one is Tropical Paisley. This one is Tiny Bubbles. Um, traffic jam and I'm hoping you guys can see the embossing there textile texture um, twizzle Victoria with gratitude heart blocks so it's just my Julie's Garden. It's just the Sizzix um, embossing folders that I have. The Moroccan screen, spots and dots, Damas Decor number two, Botanicals, which can be either way, Damas number three, Damas number four, Diamonds in the Rough, Fleur de Lis, Flor, Flor, Floral Fantasy, Divine Swirl, Beaded Ribbon, Damascus Core Number One, Helm's Tooth, Flower Vine, Diamond, Love Language, which is the little hearts, um, Perfectly Paisley, Stars, and then Swiss Dots. So I'm making those cards and then I also have the script one, which I was making. So I really wanted the dream cuts because then I'm going to be able to put my eight and a half by 11 paper in there and just crank it out and then it'll cut perfectly. And that way I don't have to keep on cutting it with the trimmer. So I got those. I'm going to start making sets of 10 so that way I can set, sell them on my blog. 
Um, and I think that they, they come out really cute. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is Sizzix. Um, you guys have seen that I had, I had the onesie die and that onesie die took me forever to find because by the time that I was trying to find it, it had already been retired. It was like impossible to find. People were asking, you know, a lot of money for it. And, you know, luckily I was able to find a place online that had it for $40. So I had even debated buying it at $40. So imagine like the people who were buying it at $100, 150 so um, I went ahead and I bought it for $40 from the online store. And then I was using it to make another onesie mini album, which I love. They're so cute. And then while I was doing that, I noticed that the paper kept getting stuck right here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this is like a little perforated line right there. Just to show where the sleeves are to the onesie. And then... It started to look really strange. And then I noticed that what was happening is that the blade was coming out from the die. And I was using it in my Sizzix Big Shot Pro. I had the right sandwich and everything else. Like, I don't understand what happened. Um, but the die, the, the actual blade came out of the die. And that, like, really got me worried. So I went ahead and I called Sizzix. I was hoping that they might be able to do something. Um, when I called them, the lady was super, super nice. She told me that she was going to check to see if maybe they could replace it or if not, if they could um, try to fix it. And, you know, her customer service was great. Within a couple of minutes after my email, she was already, um, because I emailed her pictures of what it looked like, um, she went ahead and she told me that she was going to send it down to somebody else because since it was retired, they weren't sure if they were going to be able to do anything. And it turns out that instead of replacing it or fixing it, the only thing that they could do is to send me another die. So they had me pick out any die from their thing that was also a Biggs die. So I went ahead and I picked out this one, which is the little suitcase. And I thought it was would be really cute. It's a really small die. It's about that big. But you could do like a little mini album and put it inside here. So I was thinking of my best friend. She travels all the time. And she just finished coming back from Ireland even. So I could totally make the outside suitcase here. And then make a little mini album inside of it. So that way she could have, you know, like day one what she did and maybe a little tiny picture day two like on one side the picture one side the journaling so that way she could journal her trip so I thought this was really cute so that's what I ended up getting um so anyway those are the things that I got but I really was happy with the customer service that I received from Sizzix because honestly I thought they were just going to tell me that you know they couldn't do anything for me so thank you very much Sizzix um so anyway, those are my two things. I have been a really good girl and trying not to spend any money, um, which is really, really hard because so there's so many nice things out there. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'll be back in a little while to show you some layouts that I've been making. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.